All right, my people. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look on how to take a trade on MetaTrader 4 on Android, MT4 on Android. And the first thing you're going to see when you're opening up MetaTrader 4 is the quotes page. This is where you see your favorite trading pairs. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go to settings. It's those three stripes, the three stripes on your upper left corner. When you've done that, you press manage accounts. That will bring you to your account page. And from here, you press the plus sign to open up a new account. And you can choose to open up an existing account you already have with your login credentials or open up a new demo account from your favorite broker or MetaTrader's demo account. Let's say your favorite broker is Hugo's way and you want to open up a demo account there. You type in Hugo, you get the demo account information and then you choose the deposit amount that is as close to your real deposit amount as possible. Remember, this is demo account, so this, this is not real money you'll be trading. Now, let's say when you open up a live account, you will deposit $10,000 to trade with. Then you open up the demo account with $10,000 to so keep it as close as possible to what your live account will be. If you're happy with your personal information and your account information, then you press create account and whoop, now you have a demo account on Hugo's way and you're ready to trade. So what happens now is that you're back on the quotes page where you see all your favorite trading pairs. And if you don't see your trading pair, then what you do is you press the plus button at the upper right corner, the plus button at the upper right corner, and you type in the trading pair that you want to see on the quotes list. Let's say it's Ethereum, for example, ETH versus US dollar. When you write ETH, it will pop up. You pick the pair that you want, and when you press it, it disappears from the list. It's because now it's on the quotes page, on the quotes list. That means you can trade it now. Let's do it again with another ticker. We press the plus button, and we want to trade gold. Gold ticker is XAU versus US dollar. We press it. It appears on the quotes list at the bottom. We press the trading pair that we want to trade and we press new order that will bring us to the order page. All right, so this is where it gets interesting. What we're going to do now is we're going to place a trade together. To do that, you have to understand the order page. So we're going to break it down together now. At the top, what you see is what type of order is this? Is it a market execution, a buy limit, sell limit, buy stop or sell stop? In this case, we're going with the market execution. Next thing we'll be looking at is the lot size. That's the numbers under the type of order. And you can choose different lot sizes. If you don't know what lot size to use, you ask in the traders chat or you ask your upline or whoever your mentor is. Or you just watch the videos in Market Pro about how to use lot size. To use the proper lot size is very important for your risk management. You will quickly blow up your account if you use a too big lot size. So use the proper lot size. If you're unsure, as I said, ask your mentor, ask the traders in the traders chat, and you will be sorted out. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the stop loss and the take profit. Very important because you don't want your trade to run wild uh, if it goes to the negative side. So you want to have a stop loss, a limit for how much loss you're going to take. And it's the same thing with a take profit. You're putting a limit on how much profit you, you want to take. Sounds crazy, yes. But the thing is, what if you fall asleep, for example, and your trade goes in profit and then it reverses and goes back to negative. So you want to have your take profits put up and if you're trading on signals, then you know you always have different take profits. You just copy and paste those take profits. You copy and paste the stop losses from, uh, from the signals and you will be good. So let's say for this example on the gold trade, we want to have a stop loss that is $1,736. Then we're putting a take profit on $1,738. We are now ready to place the order. So we press the buy by market button and order has been placed and order is executed and the trade will directly be in red so your order will directly be in a loss and that's because of the spread which is the broker's cut of your trade that's how the brokers make their money all right so let's look at the chart for this gold trade that we're in as you can see the green line symbolizes where we enter the trade 
it says buy and it says 0 0.10 which, which is the lot size that we use below it you got the red dotted line and it's sl on it which means stop loss that's our stop loss and then we got the red dotted line above it with the tp as the take profit and i made it very tight so we could execute this trade and finish this trade during this meta trader breakdown so when you press on trade history below at the menu then what you see is the trades that you've been in and then you can see this trade had just been finished and we finished it with a profit of 5.5 dollars so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you how to place a buy limit order and the same goes for a sell limit order a sell stop or a buy stop order the first thing you need to do is you press on market execution and you choose the buy limit then you have to enter a price where you want to enter the market at what price do you want to enter the market in this case we want to enter the market at 1737 us dollars we put the stop loss on 1736 dollars and we put the take profit on 1739 dollars we double check the lot size the parameters that we have put in and then we press place and the order is placed and you can see it there as a waiting buy limit order uh, when you press on it then you see the parameters that you have put in and if you quickly go to the chart by pressing the chart button on the menu below then you will see the order where it's being executed at what level it's going to be executed at what level the take profits are and the stop losses are as you can see in this example the buy limit is executing right now and that means the next thing to watch out for is if we're hitting the stop loss or we're hitting the take profit but the buy limit order is active now so it's an active trade now let's say for example you want to modify the order let's say for example on the signals chat they sent out a message that you should move the stop loss to 1736.5 usd what you're going to do is you press the trade you press the active trade and then you press modify order and then you go in and change the stop loss manually now let's say for example you want to close the trade or you want to close parts of the trade you press on the trade you press close trade and then up on the lot size you choose how many lots you want to close let's say you want to close half the trade so we have 0 0.10 in lot size we put 0 0.05 that's half the trade that's half the lot size so now only half of the trade is running and half of it is closed Looking at your trade history, you see the winning trade that we placed before and you see this trade that ended up in loss. So blue numbers for profits and red numbers for losses. Now let's say you have a buy limit or sell limit order that you regret or for some reason want to delete. You click on the order and then you just press delete and then you press delete again to confirm it and the order is deleted. It's gone. So now looking at your trade history, what you will see is the winning trade that we placed by market execution. You will see the buy limit trade that we placed that went in loss and the one that we closed uh, with half the lot size of what we started with. And you will see the order that we closed before it got executed. And because we closed it before it got executed, it's at zero, no uh, profits or losses on that one. So my people. That's a quick run through on how to place a trade on MetaTrader 4 on Android.